Welcome to Rule. Let's check out some of the Rule messaging features. Whether you're in or out of the office, or the Rule application, we'll demonstrate how you never lose the ability to interact with and hold discussions around every asset of your business. Let's get started. I was assigned a task by my manager, Patrick, to design an initial layout for a client's application, and I need it reviewed before it can be marked as complete. I'm going to start by posting to the stream. I'm going to reference the task, and upload a screenshot of my work. And then I'll notify Patrick of my post. On Patrick's end, he has just received a rule notification email with links both to the related task and to my uploaded document. But Patrick is busy at the moment, and so he sends a quick reply from his email. After Patrick has replied, I'll receive an email notification, but I'll also receive an alert here in the rule notification shortcut. This takes me to all of my notifications. And in the stream, I see one comment to my post. When I click on it, I can see the discussion being tracked as if we had both been in rule all along. When I reply, Patrick will receive an email notification of this. Later, when Patrick is going through his email, he opens my latest response in his inbox. A great thing to notice here is that our discussion has now been consolidated into a single exchange, avoiding redundant messages in his inbox. He can click on the link to the document and be taken right to that rule asset. He'll download the document right from here and take a look. After reviewing my uploaded document, Patrick decides that there's still some work to be done and replies from his email again. I received Patrick's feedback and made the changes. So now I'm going to upload a new version of the doc. Notice how Rule keeps track of all version history below. Because this document was referenced in my original stream post, our exchange is being tracked in this asset's related discussions. Now I'll go to our discussion from here and give Patrick an update. When Patrick receives an email with my new post, he reviews the updated doc from its link. He decides that everything looks good, and will now mark the task as complete. To do this, he does a live search for the task, and marks the task as complete. I will be notified that he has checked this off. Since the task was referenced in my initial post, he can follow up with me by going into related discussions for the task as well. Of course I'll be notified of his latest post, and now we have effectively communicated from rule to mail and vice versa, all along our discussion remaining tracked and intact. Now that you know how to reply to stream posts from email, let's show you how you can actually begin a new stream post without even being logged into Rule. This is done by composing a message and sending it to your Rule Drop email address. Your Rule Drop email address can be found by going to Settings, and will show up in the first screen you see under Email Notifications. This is your personal Drop email address. Sending mail to this address will post to the rule stream in your name. 
Let's take a quick look at how the drop email address works. First, select and copy it. Then from your email client, send a message to the address. Now we see this as a stream post in Rule. You can also have private discussions in the Rule mailbox, where every user you message automatically receives email notifications and can reply from their email in the same way as when replying to stream posts. These discussions are tracked and displayed in your inbox. And that's that for mail. Stay connected with your team and Rule from anywhere.